Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the Wall, Wall Twins. Twins. If this is your first time here with us, though, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything we do, no matter where we're doing it and no matter what we're cooking. Yes. Even when it's a fried rice that we've done many, many times. I but twist our arm to do fried rice again. Right, and really when we got down to it and why we wanted to do another fried rice, we, we really were looking for another excuse because we get so much good feedback yep. and so many hints and tricks that people use that we've not yet done for our fried rice and we want to share that with you because it just gets better and better. So this is hopefully going to be our best fried rice yet. Yeah, Brett, get to the groceries though Here so we know we, what we're talking. Well, There's a lot going into this Yeah, one. so I'll just kind of mention the basics. So of course, right up front and center, we have, well, the rice. This is four cups and we spread it out. We made it last night and it sat in the fridge overnight. Then we've got four eggs, some onions, some of the toppings go on. Don't forget the MSG, that is accent. We're using ABC sweet soy sauce, this oyster sauce. Of course, sesame oil to go a long way. There is the spam right there, all cubed up. And now we've never used ginger before in these cooks. It has been suggested and we figured, you know what, today we've got it here in a tube. We're going to put it down there and then top it. And then the veggies right there, top it with a little green onion, right? And so using this, uh, this ginger and garlic this way, it's a little trick that we learned from Todd Tovin, who we appreciate so much for teaching us this method. It really helps. They're great ways to get these, these pastes yes. are a great way to get a lot of flavor with using a little bit. less. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. But again, like Brett pointed out, ginger is a first for us on this. And we're incorporating all of those Asian flavors that we love, the sesame oil, the oyster, oyster sauce, sauce, as well as that ginger and garlic. Yeah. And so, and the ABC sweet soy sauce, which if you follow our channel, and you know we love. Not picture, but we will be putting a little bit of salt and pepper. Oh, salt and pepper. And the green uh, onion are there for, uh, for looks. You're right. Salt Pepper, a little bit, I forgot about that. And the last thing that I wanted to mention was Spam. I did live in Hawaii. Spam is everywhere there. It is part of your daily life. Culture. Basically, it's culture. <laughs> Absolutely love Spam. And so we love doing this Spam fried rice. It's a great it salty protein. It takes back protein. to the island. It does island. take me back. Speaking of take me back, let's take me back over to the griddle. Oh, <laughs> Nice sense of throwing some butter. Wow, that rolled right out. Yeah, so Brett's got the butter over there, and I took one tablespoon because I want to use this with my vegetables. While Brett's getting the rice, I do want to mention, I think I said this before, these, this is from Frozen. So since it's frozen, I'm careful and I want to watch it. Start, uh, throwing uh, the frozen food on, especially if you're doing a whole lot, this isn't a whole lot, but if you're doing more than this, you can actually warp a grill surface. But uh, this worked great. Also, I wanted to point out, I do have back in action our wooden scraper. My nephew Chad made this. Yes. Griddle on. We, we are going to start to hopefully try to produce these yes, and market them, uh, yeah. soon, market them as soon as we can. I really love using the wood. Um, I needed to make sure and treat it, so I finally got it treated with just some wood oil, some mineral oil, actually, and uh, got it good. So while Brett is starts the rice, I'm going to get going on everything else. We're going to get these veggies cooked up. And then we'll do a whole system. So when the vegetables are done cooking, we'll turn this burner off and then we'll cook the spam in the middle. And then we'll just start saucing and seasoning everything. Brett, did you put your ginger and your garlic in there like Not you were supposed to with yet. the butter? Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> so I will now. Yep. So now this is going, you can see the butter, the gold color coming in through here. So we're gonna get this cooking for a good little while now because that's how you make fried rice. And if you notice, I'm not using a whole lot because this is a paste. So it is very, very aromatic and potent. Potent, if you will, very impotent. One thing we love about Pit Boss is these utensils. They get, normally with standard, they come with ones that don't really seem this long. These are huge spatulas and this scraper. I like it because it keeps you, your hand away from the heat. When you're doing cooks like this, you come in, really get it good. Griffin making his entrance to kind of help cover with the umbrella. Look, he's doing awesome over here. So we'll help. Big round of applause for Griffin. <laughs> we love getting these guys to come and help us with these cooks. So this is still still cold. I'm going to know when these are done because they're going to start softening. And obviously, like with anything, if you need to know, you can go ahead and taste it. Yep. Normally, we put probably a little bit more salt, but we got to remember spam has a lot of salt in it, so therefore, uh, we're not going to put as much salt <laughs> the, as normal. And Brett didn't notice that the wind carried most of the pepper away, so I had to move the veggies into the pepper. Uh, nice, nice, nice call, dudes. All right, so we'll uh, let this cook up about two more minutes, would you say, Brett? Yep. And then we'll start saucing and start moving on to the next phase. Uh, the rice has been on about seven to ten minutes. We're going to add a little bit of accent, and then we're going to do the egg right up front here. That's why I kind of cleared the way. I forgot about our egg. onion. Oh, Adam forgot the onion. That's okay. Quick. 
Yep. Here's the accent. And Cannon, let me help you. We'll move the onion out of the direct sunlight. Put that right here. Brett took up my section of the griddle there. All right, now for the eggs. Gonna get it going right up here. We have four cups of rice, so we're doing four uh, eggs. That's our rhyme or reason. We didn't find that anywhere. That's just how we've done it. It makes it really easy to determine how many eggs you're gonna do. How many cups of rice did you do? That's how many eggs. And you could do more if you like, obviously. It's just what we've come down to as our preference. Or you can do none. When I did hibachi with Chris, our buddy Chris, uh, there's a lot of non-egg lifers in that crowd, so we went no eggs that day. Nice. And then, if you notice, I'm cracking the eggs on the surface, and that's because if you crack them on the side, A, you'll lose some egg down the side, but it also can come in, and, well, the, the shells can get in. Um, also, if you're trying to do, like, a sunny side egg up or, like, over easy, it is likely to break the yolk, but we want to break the yolk anyway for this. Salt and Brett, did you get accent on both yep. these? I did. All right, because I think I'm going to start putting just a little sweet soy sauce in here. Just a little. Oops, or a lot. <laughs> just to start getting this flavor going. I love eggs on this Sierra griddle, the ceramic nod stick. The ceramic surface is so slick. You just slide and cook right up no sticking at all whatsoever. If there was a little sticking, we well, might not take the scraper, come up right underneath it, and take care of that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, Brett, and turn this burner off. Cool. Because I'm gonna, these are good, ready to go. Let them just sit in that sauce. And time for spam, 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 spam. The it's wonderful, wonderful spam. spam. And all we're doing is frying this up, and then we'll get some of the Oils on there and the... Keep your spam out of my rice for now, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. By the way, you can dice the spam as big or as little as you like. We were going for some slightly smaller pieces just so it kind of spreads more throughout. All right, so now we're gonna incorporate the egg into the rice. And then we can start going on the sauces, and this cook is just about done. Yes, now, typically, with a meat, you're trying to cook it all the way through. Spam's already cooked, we're yeah. just getting it hot. So all I'm doing is gonna get this hot, gonna start getting our sauces. Brett, let's get a little sesame oil sesame in there. Sesame oil and then soy sauce over here. Too. Okay, and so with sesame oil, you only need a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. So we a little bit more. A little bit more than that, but just to start. I want to keep that in mind. So people with the oyster sauce, you think, oyster sauce, that's gross, I hate oysters. Well, A, um, it doesn't taste like oysters. It tastes, I would, I would liken it closer to a soy sauce than anything. If, when, the, when the oysters are broken down, it gives it almost a, a, a sweet, savory taste that again, is nothing like oysters. Okay. All right, and finally, our ABC Sweet Soy Sauce. Yes. This, this is the money shot. This is magic. And Brett, maybe a little bit more accent? Yes. Brett, you know, normally we mix this separately, but I think this is ready to go. Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and, yeah, that's, just let's incorporate have some it. So now you can, at this point, start tasting it to see what you like, get to preference. Um, I know that we always, we always have found that the, the amount of veggies we have ends up being a little overpowering, so we don't use all the veggies, but we do want to make sure there's plenty in there. And all right, I think my portion is done, but I'll let you take over and finish yep. that up. Go ahead and kill the heat. Here we go, and we hope you could hear Brett throughout this entire thing. <laughs> we just realized. discovered I didn't have my microphone. He was I've not got mic'd here, up, but, but I don't have the uh, receiver right, right here, so <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes, but uh, if it isn't, this is all being deleted out anyway, so it doesn't matter. But uh, <laughs> there it is in all its glory. We are oh, just, you know, gosh. our quintessential, Quintus Adams word of the, <laughs> the month, fried rice. This turned yep. out exactly like I hoped it Perfect. would. Perfect. And uh, we did have to taste test it a little bit to give a little bit more flavor. We did add just a little bit, maybe about another 
tablespoon of salt. ABC sweet soy sauce. Oh, yes. A tablespoon of salt. <laughs> it was not a tablespoon of salt. I don't know why. And then I dusted salt. it with salt so, just a little bit more. But then this And is, then I also added more accent. Yeah, but this is a situation where, like Brett says, you know, he, he allows his guests just to add whatever salt they want. So I didn't want to over salt it, even though we are savory dudes and we like a lot more salt. But Brett, like we say, it can look amazing. Looks absolutely amazing, exactly like we'd expect it to. Uh, like we say, it can smell it. As always, can I get a smell yeah? Smell yeah, you can. Yes. But if this doesn't taste amazing, then this was all, all for not. not. Cheers, <laughs> I'll eat to that, my brother. Mm. Oh wait. Well, as expected. Oh, it's so good. Like I said, best yet. It just might be. The spam. The spam. I know. Couple take takes away. I don't take away. I don't taste any ginger. And that's okay. Mm, I do. Do you? Oh my word. Don't I? I literally was just about to say what is slightly different. I taste the ginger. Okay. Okay. Maybe I just in that bite I didn't taste it. So, Can I be honest? This is amazing. I could do without the ginger. Okay. And it's only because I'm, I keep thinking, man, what is that one that I taste? It is not bad. This is amazing. I will go back and get this if this is a restaurant. I'm not getting a whole lot of sesame oil. But that means you did it right. That no, means it's no, the right I, amount. I like a little bit of taste, but I'm, but not to take anything away from this. I'm, oh. I'm nitpicking at this point. Two this things. is Two absolutely things. amazing. What? We totally wall twins this. Not only did we forget the sesame seeds. <laughs> the green onion for garnish. The green onion for garnish is right there. It's just for looks. We have it. Add it if you like. <laughs> Apparently we forgot. There you go. All right, but one this more bite. Is, I'm putting yeah. this down. I don't know if I'm putting it down, but mm -hmm. I love doing these fried rices. You gotta try. If you haven't tried this. Try it, use whatever protein you like. Mm. Griff immediately gave and the thumbs up. I would say this, even if you're not a big fan of Spam, in a dish like this, you I don't, don't get like the- spam in that. Oh, See? Griff just said he doesn't like Spam and he loved it. I, that's what I love about this, right? right? Exactly. That's what it comes down to. Yep. I'm so happy with how this turned out. Like, I'm so overly satisfied. Like, uh, that, this that is, is just that is Like I said earlier, I, I was nitpicking at perfection. It's what I was doing because fried rice, these dishes, they are so fun. They're so easy. Total time cooked from beginning to end, maybe 20 30. Minutes, maybe okay, 20. Okay, 20. So um, at my house, it usually takes longer, but I literally will do vegetables and then the rice. You and mean then you don't have a twin brother at your house? Correct, every day exactly. Okay, okay. <laughs> and I'm cooking for a big group of people, so I wanna make sure I get it right. It usually takes closer to an hour, but I will probably start doing this, and because I can definitely- well, I also point this out to Brett. Brett does like a little bit crispier, and I had to point out at one point, oh, it was starting to get crispy, because I, me and my family, we don't <laughs> he like it. gave me crispy. the look. You get it fried to where it just starts to dry out and cook. If you like it crispy, do it that way, but for me, this is perfect. I absolutely love that we came into this one. Yep. If you like this, gave you one more idea. If you've done fried rice and now you got a new idea for a new fried rice, or this is your first time trying it, follow this method. Make sure to give this a thumbs <laughs> up. We really do appreciate it. Knows it. I'm over here winding up. It is one way in which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us is through our merchandise store. There's a link to that in the description below this video. Love getting to come in. Yes, me too. So, happy. so fun. What, a way, what a way to wrap up the weekend. Yes. What Aside a from coming and do this, banger fried rice. Yes. Maybe we could do a fried rice food truck. <laughs> yeah, we could. Pick your protein. <laughs> Pick your protein, we take care of the rest. But why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And grin along.